What's up, guys? Back here with week 27 of the road to 240. And this was the big week where I got to try out some maxes, some three rep maxes and two rep maxes to be specific. First, we're gonna check out the squat. I only lifted for three days this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I went on vacation to Michigan to see some painted rocks or pictured rocks or whatever. They were good looking, it was fun, and I got tan. Anyways, you're seeing my warm-ups for squats right now. That was 405, you can see it moved pretty well. Uh, my attempt for squats was 495 for three. Now, you'll see what happens when we get there, but I maybe could have had a third had the situation not escalated, but let's check out 455, and that is Joe Rice's glutes in the picture. I'm sure he did this on accident. You can still see the depth there, and he's out of the way. But we got it. I kind of started to sweat, actually. I gave myself a little sweat for this uh, warm-up here. I almost forgot to turn the camera off. Threw those straps on the ground. But now we're going to check out 475, and I believe my warm-ups were something like bar for reps until I got bored, and then some overhead squats. Then I did some 135 for probably like 10 or so. And 225 for a few, 315 for a few, 365 for one, there, 405 for one, 455, 475. So that was quite a long warm up actually. I was probably exhausted from that. Um, I don't normally sweat in the gym that much, but today I was sweating like a pig. Also, listening to Hate Breed on those Bluetooth headphones. I don't even know if you guys can see them. Anyways, here's 475. I don't think Joe gets in the way of this one. Back is chalked and ready. Walkout's feeling nice and sturdy these days. And I got a little toesy there, but speed is still all right. Now for this 495 squad, I really got psyched up, put on my favorite song, called over the three best spotters in the Northland. Uh, you can see Big Crest Bell there in the background. Brendan Willis and Joe White Rice on the right there. Uh, and I trust these guys. I also have the safety pins up, which I shouldn't because it's not that much weight. Anyways, 495, I'm going for a triple here. You're going to see on the second rep, uh, well, actually, you watch the first rep here. There's quite a bit of power behind it, especially at the top. You know, the bar will jump off me a little bit. Kind of slid down my back there. Went for the second. And bar started rolling down my back, and I said, no way. Uh, Going to keep the spotters alive for another day, but maybe potentially could have hit a third there had I set up a little tighter, not sweat so much. But a little disappointed with that performance. However, not really because of how fast the bar is moving on that 495 for a double. For bench press, we're taking a look at 325. Also attempting three reps here. Attempting is the keyword. Keyword of the week, I guess, as I did not make a single attempt that I wanted to make. But uh, again, I was really happy with the speed on these reps. And you can see the bar starting to slow down a bit, and my good old sticking point get caught up. So maybe yeah, I didn't pick the best. Uh, exercises to build my bench press those last eight weeks as I didn't feel it was as strong as my 320 for five. Oh, gosh, next tricep, huge. So I will probably keep a little more uh, frequency in my bench press, maybe two times a week at least of the competition press, and then maybe an additional one or two times of a different press, say a close grip or a paused press. Now we're checking out deadlift warm-ups, 495 here. Uh, I've been wearing the knee sleeves around my shins for whatever reason because it feels a lot better. Like the bar actually comes off the floor a little faster. I think because I don't rip the bar into my shins this way. Now this is not legal in competition if I can remember correctly. So I'll have to change that at some point. But for now, it's feeling good and keeps my shins from being bruised since I'm a little wimp. Next we're checking out 525. I'm going for a double here. I did have a little bit of a callus problem coming into the week, or coming into this day. Um, but it didn't really fall apart, literally, or metaphorically. Well, metaphorically it did, as you'll see. But literally it did not fall apart. My callus was fine. So I got psyched up again, listening to some hate breed. There's your boy, Logan Krauser, in the background. The first rep's actually 
probably the fastest 525 conventional pull I've ever had. So I'm fairly confident that I could go a little bit more. But check out the double here. I'm squeezing the bar. I go for my breath. Couldn't get tight, so I had to reset. And at this point, I knew I was screwed. Just lost my back a little bit too much there. Couldn't get a good breath. Couldn't drive through the legs. Turn into a spinal extension movement, which we don't want much of. And I let her loose. So that's the week. Didn't really hit the lifts I wanted to, but still happy with the outcome. Thanks for watching, and Dad, subscribe.